So Kim Davis ended up in jail today, which was predictable. Um, the left never lets up. The right always caves and lets them get away with this kind of thing. But where is Donald Trump today? Where is Donald Trump today when something real and something honest is going on that doesn't have to do with his spiel about the border and about whatever Donald Trump feels like talking about? I don't know how many of you follow Donald Trump's interactions with the far left, but the far left doesn't really like him that much, and Cher has a, a whole stream of anti-Trump tweets comparing him to Cruz and then dismissing both of them. They mock him just as readily as they do other Republicans, even though he supports the gay marriage agenda. Um, Trump is not the leader that we need at this time. Trump is part of the problem and not part of the solution. And the way that you see this is that even when you agree with a part of the Democratic Party platform, they still demonize you. They still mock you. They still make everything about personality conflicts and the destruction of anybody's life that doesn't go along with what they want. So, my opinion, if you're a conservative and you're supporting Trump, you too are part of the problem because you don't see the problem. You see the problem as something about taxes and something about... Um, negotiating deals with people overseas or with wealthy people here, the problem is we have become morally bankrupt. Corruption, greed, laziness, and sexual, in what do you even call it, sexual craziness beyond anything that you would just simply call sin, just utter and complete filthy licentiousness to the point where people will not even tolerate a normal, healthy family legal system. It's called marriage and family law, folks. It's that there's a connection there, whether you want to admit it or not. So uh, the problem in America is a moral one. It's a spiritual one. And until and unless you wake up and do something about that, it's just going to get worse and it's going to get more violent. There's going to be a wider and wider gap between power and the rest of us, and you will wind up miserable slaves. Because freedom has a price, and that price, as has been said a million times, is eternal vigilance. Vigilance against what? What are you watching for? You're watching for corruption, for wickedness, for evil, for slavers. You better start resisting the slave masters again. Thank you for your time. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.